Miami's party station, your girl, Aditi. I have the very beautiful Mabel in the studio with me right now. Hey. So let me ask you, is this your first time in Miami? This is my first <gasps> time in Miami. Stop. Well, welcome to Miami. Thank you. Uh, when did you get here? I got here last night and I'm leaving tonight, which is so no, sad. So I you know. Can't even enjoy. I know, it's so sad. No, well, you need to come back. Again I will. So I you will. Can actually enjoy my Definitely. Because this is such a beautiful city. It is. I and, love it already. And the, and the weather is incredible. You so came, good. You came at the best time. It was a little chilly last week, but yeah? you came at a perfect time. Well, it's so, very nice now. Again. Welcome to Miami. Thank so, you. I did my research, of course. So I definitely have some questions to ask you. Yeah, tell me. So growing up, mm -hmm. dad was a producer. Yeah. Mom was a singer. Mm -hmm. Is that what inspired you to become a singer-songwriter? I mean, definitely, like, growing up around creative people, like, inspired me. And they were really, like, encouraging in terms of, like, learning to play instruments and being creative and expressing myself. Um, they obviously would have been proud, like, no matter what I decided to do, but... Uh, yeah, I guess like just growing up in studios and on the road and like being around creative people, I was just like, yeah, that's what that's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. And yeah. You did it, so that's incredible. Yes. That is awesome. Okay. Now, on top of having an incredible, amazing voice, I also saw that you actually either write or co write all of your I do. music. I do. Which is, again, incredible. Now, Thank you. when it comes to your music, do you base your songs off of your experiences or you mm -hmm. just write based off of? Whatever. Yeah, I mean, it's like journaling. I just write about things that I'm going through and like it's my way to like process things. And sometimes I genuinely feel like I can like sing things better than I can say them. And um, actually, sometimes I'll write a song and then like a few months later, I'll be like, oh, that's what that was about. Or like I'll teach myself things, which is which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. But um, I've kind of just always done that, like for as long as I can remember, just like written little stories, little songs to like help me understand things. So that's how that's how your writing comes to play. Exactly. Based off of real life. That's incredible. Exactly. And speaking about real life, you've dealt with something pretty much so many people deal with, which is For anxiety. Sure. Oh, my um, God. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about that. How did you overcome if you have tips uh -huh. for your fans who are going uh -huh. through it? I think um, for me, it was just about realizing that actually it's not about running away from it or like, you know, that one day I'm going to wake up and it's just going to magically be gone. It's like we ha all have good days and we all have bad days. And I think it. It's about like accepting and being okay with the bad days and just being like, okay, I'm having a bad day today and just telling people that, like, you know, I'm feeling this way today. And sometimes just feeling it is better than like trying to run away from it. And, and yeah, the older you get, I think you realize that like actually everybody's going through it. When I was a teenager, I felt so alone. And like, that's why I talk about it because like I never want anybody to feel like they're alone in it because you're not everybody, everybody has these feelings. Of course. And that's awesome because again, a lot of people deal with it, but a lot of people just don't know how to deal with exactly. it. Exactly. So when, you know, you have someone like you in the spotlight, dealing with it i feel like it it reaches people a little differently mm -hmm. like, oh, okay she's a real person she goes through the same thing yeah we all go through totally so, so that's incredible thank you that's awesome thank you all right so before i get into don't call me up because i have some things to say about that song <laughs> i have to ask you so when it comes to music if you could collab with any oh, artist any artist this question so be? hard no, come on you, you, somebody need to know somebody said dj Khaled to me today and i was like yo that would be fire so dj Khaled. yeah that would be great that so, would be great um who else like kendrick um and then like i guess to do like a, a girl's anthem i think ariana grande would be cool yeah i don't know there's so many amazing artists it's there so is. hard to pick i know there there's music is just incredible right now so good so what is your favorite song at the moment um, I am listening to, ooh. Top three songs right now on your playlist. Okay, wait, let me have, I'm gonna I'm have a little <laughs> sneak peek because I feel like, okay, what was I listening to? I was listening to, I'm always listening to Kelani's new mixtape. Oh. RPG with Black is amazing. Um, I'm still listening to Money Cardi B because <laughs> I just love that song. She it's so funny, animal. literally. And then, um, actually, do you know what song I didn't like at first, but I love now? What? Is Seven Rings, Ariana Grande. At first I was like, mm, I'm not sure I'm still like, thank you next. And now I'm like, Seven Rings. Sometimes I love it. It takes a couple It takes a minute. Yeah, I love, like, I love that record. Do I like this yet or, or do I not like this yet? Exactly. So let me transition now. So a while ago, well, not a while ago, but uh -huh. I was doing music with, with Miho, my boss. Amazing. And he was like, Didi, no, let, me, let me have you listen to this song. And I'm like, all right, cool. And it was, don't call oh. me up. And I was like, stop. Because <laughs> I, I think I listen to music a little differently. Like, I'm a big lyric person. Yes, so me too. as soon as the first verse ended, I was like, stop. Who is this? What is this? Are we playing this? Because it's one of those records that everyone can relate to. Like, everyone goes through a breakup. Like, eventually in your Thank lifetime. You. And clearly, this is a breakup Thank record. You. And it's like, nope, do not call me up. I, I play that in my head. 
every time I go out Thank on the you. weekends and I'm drinking. Uh, we ain't calling nobody tonight. Listen, no. breakups are really hard. Mm-hmm. They're really hard. And it's easy to just be like, oh, you know what, whatever, get over him. That's what, what you know, your friends will say to you. And, and it's difficult. That process is so difficult. And like, it's not to be underestimated how painful that process can be. But then also like how good it feels when you're finally over it and how empowering that is. And I wanted to kind of capture that emotion, I think, um, of just like, yeah, when you've been obsessing over somebody and then they call you and you're like, oh, you haven't even realized that you got over them. But you're looking at their name on your screen and you're just like, I, I don't really want to pick up because I'm chilling with my friends and I'm just, and yeah, I mean, it's one of my favorite feelings. It is. They all come back. Yeah. Well, <laughs> whether we want them to or not, they eventually always come back. <laughs> the block feature is, is an amazing feature on the iPhone, by the way. I, cha- I changed my number. That's- <gasps> Change my change my wig, change my number. That's so what I say. Can't even call you up. Exactly. I love that. I love yeah. that. Well, listen, I love this song, <laughs> and I wish you nothing but all the success in the world because you are amazing. Your Thank voice you. is incredible. Thank Your songwriting you. is incredible. So, what is next? Is there going to be another single? Mm-hmm. What, what's going on now? Yeah, obviously, just more records. But I've also been working on my debut album for the last couple of years, and it's due to drop this year, which is so exciting. Like. I'm an album person, like I really listen to music, you know, through albums, listening to somebody's project from beginning to end. And I don't think, you know, there's enough projects like that out there. So I just took my time to like, yeah, do that. I think it's so easy now to just be like, because everything's so fast paced to just be like, okay, I'm just going to throw a bunch of records on a project, which is cool. But I was like, I wanted to make like, you know, an album like the things that I grew up listening to. I'm such an album person. So I'm excited and just like happy for people to like, just know what I've been doing for the last couple of years and the sound has changed and I've changed and yeah. Well, I'm excited too. So maybe Thank that'll you. be your excuse to come back to Miami when the album drops. Exactly. Yeah, I want to come back. I'm so sad I'm leaving. Back. You need to. Longer than 24 hours. I have to. You can't just spend 24 hours in Miami. It's I like, know. You just can't do that. And especially it's Miami Music Week. Like, Yeah, I can tell. A it's a fun week. time right now. It is a really fun time right now. So all right. So when the album drops, now you have I'm going to come back. I'm coming come back. back. Have Power 96 be your first For stop. sure. Perfect. Well, listen, thank you, baby girl, for stopping thank by. You. Um, And again, don't call me up by far. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's my song right now because, again, anybody going through a breakup, that is the I anthem got right you. now. I don't got you. Don't call me up, please. Don't call me up. Don't call me up. Again, thank you for coming by, baby <laughs> thank girl. Thank you for having awesome. me. Thank you. Hit me up again. Nah, nah, nah.